This is Cook and Chisel Strength Workout B. Four movements that work your whole body that you will alternate between. You'll do one movement on the minute, every minute, resting the remainder of each minute before moving on to the next exercise. You'll then rest a full minute. That's a five minute cycle. You'll do six total cycles for a 30 minute workout. Here are the exercises. For minute one, you'll do the bridge hold and there are three levels of difficulty in order that I want you to progress and build up to as you go through this program. Level one is the basic bridge hold. Get your feet underneath your knees, crunch your abs tight, and now push through the middle of your feet. Push the knees out a little bit, squeeze the butt, keep the abs crunched, and we're gonna hold this position for 30 seconds. Stay tight, nothing in the lower back, everything in the hips. Now, progression is a level two, just a nice, easy 30 second alternating leg march. Introducing the strength demands to one leg at a time, but only a couple seconds at a time to gradually build you up. And then in level three, you're gonna hold each of these one leg bridge holds for 15 seconds each, tuck that knee to the chest, drive through that heel of that bottom leg to really squeeze out that glute, 15 seconds per side, 30 seconds total, no matter what variation, rest the remainder of that minute, move on to exercise number two. For minute number two, you're gonna do 10 total dumbbell alternating step ups, five per side. Now the big focus here, you want three 90 degree bends, ankle, knee, hip. Have a box bench or step area to allow you to do that. I'm gonna get tall up top. I'm gonna try to keep that front shin vertical, dumbbells at the side. Don't shrug, pull them down, stay tight, keep them away from your thighs. And all I'm gonna do is staying tight, step up, drive through, and then make sure that we don't plop down. Control down, we're gonna keep switching sides, punch through, control. The controlled descent is what makes you feel it in the hips and not just collapse to the ground. Rest the remainder of that minute after 10 total reps and move on to the next exercise. For minute number three, you're gonna do a body weight pulling variation for your upper body. The easier version is the rows. You can use a T-Rex suspension trainer, gymnastics rings, or set a bar in a power rack or a Smith machine to about waist height. What I'm gonna do is get into this position with my knees bent, feet underneath my knees. I want you to really pull your shoulders back, keep the abs crunched, glutes tight, and just focus on pulling the rings to your armpit area, hold for a count, lower in control. You want the elbows bent at 90 degrees at the top position, and you're gonna do as many good reps as you can, leaving one rep in the tank. So don't go to failure, stop one rep short. If you're getting more than 20 plus reps on the minute, I want you to go with the harder variation known as the chin up, all right? So what we're gonna do is get good overhead position, palms facing, you're gonna start from a dead hang. Rib shoulders down, abs clenched, glutes tight, feet together, toes pointing. From there, just pull your elbows to the ribs, squeeze, control down, same concept, as many good reps as you can, stop in one rep short, and then rest to the remainder of that minute, move on to the next exercise. For minute number four, we're gonna do a body weight pushing variation for your upper body. We're gonna start with the push up. I want you to screw your hands into the floor so the index finger is pointing forward. I'm gonna block my feet together, get a nice good plank position, keep tension underneath those armpits so the upper back is almost pulling us down to the bottom position, chest touches, and then full extension at the top. Elbows tucked tight to the side. You're in a straight line position. Again, you're banging 20 plus reps. Now it's more endurance. I wanna get more strength going. So we're gonna go into the dip. What we're gonna do is go with high enough bar, keep the legs straight and extended underneath you. You're gonna come up. Don't do this. Keep the shoulders down, block the feet together. And I wanna keep those forearms vertical as we lower down and to the point where that tricep is parallel to the floor, push up, control down, push up. Bang those out as many good reps you can, stop in one rep short of failure, rest the remainder of that minute, and then you get a full minute of rest. That's one five minute cycle, do six total cycles for a 30 minute workout. Good luck. Every great workout ends with a great finisher and the best way to change your whole body is to change your lower body. And we're gonna do it today with 10 minutes straight of walking lunges, good opposite arm leg mechanics, Keep the hips and shoulders squarely ahead. Keep that front shin vertical. This will make you a better squatter, runner, and jumper, and maybe even a better lover.